What's going on guys? Sin for the win here and we are back with our franchise mode with the Vancouver Canucks and here we are up at the trade deadline somehow leading our division by eight points. And if uh, you missed out on the last video or haven't watched it yet, you're checking this out. Look what I mean when I say that. We don't have the strongest team. We've been shuffling two 82s back and forth on that second line, which has been crazy because we want to make sure Shushko gets the right amount of ice time that he needs, which is third line time. And he's doing pretty good. Look at those point totals. So we're doing pretty well. Now we're deciding if a rental player is what we need right now. And um, there's a few other things people were saying to go after as well. So let me just pull up the comments real quick. Yeah, so some very good points uh, were made here about between Ryan or Oshi for the most part. And some people still saying to go after uh, Nyquist because is what well, and something I didn't actually know that when you trade for someone, their morale automatically goes up. See, I've never traded really much for guys who are morales in the toilet. I usually pick up those guys in free agency and when the season resets, their morale gets reset. I didn't know that they'd automatically reset when you traded them. So that's good information to have. The problem is he has three years left on his deal at $7 million. Even if I make him retain salary, I won't need him for that long. Like, sure, I could trade him, but at the same time, I don't know. Eh, I would rather... It's... I would rather maybe go for someone slightly, I don't know, slightly better. Like, he's not bad, but I, if I remember Nyquist correctly, his shot isn't all that powerful for a sniper. I, and looking at it now, it's obviously terrible because his morale is so bad. But, yeah, um, if I was going to go for a goal, and like I said, it's the three years left. If some, if for some reason I can't trade him, and it's it, it just makes it more, it might be more of a headache than anything. And, um... Yeah, and then there's a couple other people were saying to go for a couple uh, other things. So, like, uh, someone was saying, T check out Tyson Jost. Well, 23 at 82, he's looking like a bit of a bust, to be honest. Yeah, he's really looking like a bust, like pretty heavily. Yeah, so I'm not going to get him. Just straight up, I'm just not going to get him. I can tell right now, at 23, only at 82, it's most likely he's busted. Uh, his defensive stats, however, are not bad, so... He would be decent for a third line, but uh, that's a future thing. And I don't know. For a third line, as we have right now, we're, we're training some guys up. And I think eventually Kreider's not going to cut it anymore on our fourth line. His defensive stat, I mean, his shot blocking, stick checking are fantastic, but his awareness is really bad. Um, his discipline's really bad, too. So I'm sure he takes some uh, penalties and things like that. Um, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming eventually we'll try. We'll probably have to replace him, which it just makes sense. Eventually, you, you lose the need for enforcers and things like that, and we're definitely closing in on that. Gaunce is fine. Delorier is fine. I like, I like these two. Um, one of them's... We're going to have to pick and choose maybe eventually between them, or Gaunce, maybe one of them can play on the other side. So, But for right now, we're doing all right with him. Thing is... Um, He's listed to be depth as well, Gaunce is. So we could actually scratch him and it won't really affect him too much, I don't think. He could be depth for us. And I'm thinking we might want to do that for the playoff run. Uh, while he is pretty good, he's got some decent poise. I don't know. The rest of his stats, I'm not too sure. Like, he's doing okay. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I don't know. I feel like maybe if Deloria was down there and we could have a better third liner, maybe that would help us out a bit more, especially Shishko for the playoffs. So that's kind of where I'm at now, and I still had my eye on Benino. But let's get to the first thing. It's that second line that we need to look at. Now, between Oshi and Ryan, it's basically how much do I want to spend value-wise, not money-wise. I can make him retain salary. The thing about Ryan is, yeah, he would be the better guy, but I'm pretty sure he's listed to be first line anyway. So we'd have, probably have to move down Besser to be safe. And so we wouldn't lose, have him lose morale because that's the least thing we want to worry about now. Going into the playoffs, you don't want to have to worry about morale issues. And while he is um, declining, I'm pretty sure he's still listed to be first line. He is. So that's an issue. He's got some extra value on him, and it's a lot more money that even when we – I know we could retain, make him retain, but I, I'm also kind of worried about that thing popping up where – it seems like retention doesn't matter when it comes to like the cap hit itself. So the other option would be TJ Oshi, which I'm actually more and more leaning towards. Even though he doesn't have a great shot, berchi has been scoring pretty well. Horvat can score, and Oshi is a kind of guy who brings a lot. He brings some defense to the table as well, and I like that. He brings some defense, brings a bit of physicality. He sure, he doesn't have a great shot, but his passing and offense awareness are pretty damn good, and he's got a poise of 85. Look how he's producing. That's relatively well. Don't pay attention to his plus minus. He's not on a great team. 
it's that value is great. Like, sure, he might decline a bit more, but that's all right for the second line. I mean, it's it's an improvement no matter what. And it, 6.3 mil, if, even if, especially if we make him retain, that's a bit more. Now, he does have two years left. He might retire or he might not. That's another thing. The two years left, it's borderline. Like, Ryan makes, Ryan could be the best with the, with the one year left, but this guy's value is really good. And that's, I'm kind of stuck in that regard between the value. Uh, yeah. So, um, all right, well, let's, let's, let's see about each of these. I am worried. Like the thing about the Ryan is like, what, what if he like loses morale? You know, like both these trades make sense. They both make sense. Both teams are not a playoff team. Both teams look like they're on the rebuilding side of things. And it would make sense for them to want to give these guys up. Ugh. Thing is, it's that it's our cap stuff. Like if I went to Ryan, like when I add him in here, just by himself, we're, we're very borderline because of where we are in the season. It's extremely borderline to the cap. So even if we make him retain salary, I, I, we might run into the problems of moving guys up and down in the playoffs, but I'm pretty sure we, we will have gaunts for forward depth. I don't think we'll have anyone for defensive depth, which may be a problem, but we might be able to move a two-way guy up if we suffer injuries in that regard. Yeah, and it's the one year left that's really good for us. Think about Oshi, sure, we could trade him at the draft, but that's pretty much no value, and no teams are really going to want him. So we might run into another situation where it's like, we have this guy who we're really not going to use. If we make him retain salary, sure, we'll only be playing him, uh, excuse me, paying him $3 million, but uh, it's still a risk. So I'm actually extremely torn on this about who we should go for. Oshi is great for the value-wise, Ryan's great for the time left, and yeah, his value is a bit much man it is quite a bit so i mean all right uh if i try to make him retain salary here and i'm worried about that if i put him on the second line that he'll kind of get pissed i don't think he should with so much this much time left but it might happen although i could give him first power play time that should make him okay like so if we do this yeah we'll have a bit more wiggle room when it comes to the cap and uh thing about value is like who do, who do we who do we start giving up uh, like the guys that they want don't really want to give them up. I mean, I actually, I could give up McLeod since he isn't really growing at 22. I might, I'll hold on to color more surely because he's 20 at 74. Like that's a lot more room for McLeod. McLeod might actually be a guy we could ship off. They're rebuilding. They want some prospects. This guy to us might not look like he's getting to where he needs to be. We could also throw in this guy, Stapleton. So there's a, some guys we could throw in there. He's a playmaker. He's got the green AHL top six. That's not what we need out of a playmaker. So let's say we throw in these two guys. Oh, that's a, oh, they're both signed though. And I, oh no, that's actually no Stapleton is not signed. All right, let's see. Let's see if we put those two in. Ottawa would be under the league minimum salary cap. Interesting. So making them retain that. We'd have to throw salary back at him. Well, hey. <laughs> Wait a sec. If we put an Ericsson, they might say, oh, we don't want to take on the cap. So they have over 50 players. So we'd have to take something back and then add something else in. Michael Lotta. He might be actually decent for depth. He might be really good for depth. One year left at, at two mil. What's he listed as? Please be listed as depth, though. Now he's listed to be fourth line. Tommy Wingles, depth. Okay. Tommy Wingles might be the better option. Michael Lotta defensive stats aren't incredible either. Thing about Wingles is... Yeah, and he actually might be a good replacement for Kreider in the playoffs. He's, you know, doesn't take the penalties. He's still got a good physicality and slight, slightly more balanced defensively. That's an idea. It's an idea. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Kreider, but for, come the playoffs, man, I hate to be taking a lot of penalties. So I'm not too sure. Maybe he won't take the penalties. They'd be under the league minimum salary cap. If I make him retain, would that still be the case? Goodness, I might not be able to get Wingle. Yeah, I won't be able to get Wingles actually. Even with Erickson in there, they'd still, yeah, it still puts them under. So okay, we'll forget about that. Let's just take someone back who doesn't matter. Wait, was it still saying they're under the league, or is that saying now that we have too many players? Who's this Hayden guy? All right, I need to actually look for a guy with like a two-way deal to pick up. Yeah, I don't, cause, ah, crap, this guy. 
Yeah, one year left. Yeah, I can just pick up that. Because I don't want... Yeah, I didn't want him to be under the, the, the whole salary cap issue to go. So we could try to move off Erickson as well. And that will help us quite a bit. I mean, he is probably going to retire. And he might be up at this year. But this would help us maybe get Ryan... And I do like that he has the one year left instead. So they might they might just be do that thing where it's like, oh, we don't want this. Now, when it comes to the picks, we might actually have to give up a first. Or we might not. Seconds is what they they look. Oh, they want seconds and thirds. Okay. Let's see if we can throw two thirds in there. Is that value? That's close. That's close. I think it's a bit over. But with all the blocks matching, it might be enough to send it forward. But Erickson in there might suck. All right. Let's try this. Stapleton, McLeod, Erickson. Two thirds for Bobby Ryan as a rental. We're shipping off stuff we don't need. Some picks that you know we've we got we drafted some role players. These we if we hold on to all of our firsts, I'll be happy. I think we will be able to. I'll be able to do this with thirds and and or seconds. So we'll try thirds first. Not quite. The value on the table is too far off. They haven't said anything about the contract, though they might later. Um, okay, let's take our seconds and next year's third yeah let's try that a second and a third now they don't want to oh they don't want to retain the salary that we're asking them to well you kind of need to because if uh the other way it won't let me if it okay i'll start removing it slowly so if i remove it bit by bit i just don't want them to yeah the thing is I, I, at this point, if we're shipping off Erickson, we can we can afford to not retain or have him retain as much salary. Um, but the thing is, I do want to make sure that uh, they're not going to be under the league salary cap. So I'll just keep removing it by a million at a time. And uh, we'll see what we can make work with that. Come on now. Not quite. Okay. Well, come on. I don't want you guys to go under the cap minimum. Not quite. Well, if I might be able to remove it entirely, and if it looks like we'd still be fine for playoffs, then all the more power to us, but... Okay. Let me just remove it entirely, and then they might accept that. So, it was the one thing that they're saying was salary, alright? So, let's see if maybe we can get a little bit of extra from them. Take a fourth back from them. Just something. So, and that's something that they want to give up as well. Like, yeah, I know it's just a fourth, but value's value. So, we'll try that. Not quite. Okay. The value. So remove the fourth now. Huh. We appreciate the changes that you're making, but it's still not quite enough. Interesting. Well, that means they're not a, a I haven't said anything about Ericsson yet, so that's good news. So we have to, we might take two seconds, which I'm not super stoked about, but at the same time, it's not de that detrimental. We do have two firsts this year. We got a couple thirds. We can always move up for a second with, um, but seconds at this point are kind of the almost the same as thirds in regards to you know if you get some top sixes sometimes top nines will even turn out better because top sixes you might try to prioritize and you might mess them up somehow or they just might stunt straight up uh so let's we'll try two seconds now but if that's the case i'm getting something else back like two fours if i can i don't know that might be too much but i'll try to get back two fours from this nope okay remove one of the fours not quite don't think it makes sense to take on the salary. Oh, now they're saying the salary of Louis Erickson. Uh, well, I can retain part of that, and that's not a big deal. But I just don't want him to, again, it's the running into the minimum salary cap. Retain part of it. I can retain it slowly. Oh, man. Yeah, Louis, shipping off Louis Erickson might not work. Yeah, see, now, now, see, yeah, see, we're, we're getting to the point now we're going to be out of freaking salary room. Yeah, I don't know if we can ship off Louis Erickson, unfortunately. In which case, we're going to need them to retain. I mean, I could, but I'd have to overextend more. And we're almost done with this season, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, see? I have more than 45. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, actually, let's remove those two seconds. Let's find someone else I can afford to give up in the, organiza <clears throat> in the organization. Any goalies you guys want? Oh, yeah. I got some of these goalies. So we got Pumanaz and Gogolev and Vavalainen. Now we could we could trade Vavalainen for that extra little bit of something and then possibly have... Then hold on, let me just look at all our goalies because we do have... Someone's saying trade Marmalin. Well, they don't want him. And then... Oh, we also... Oh my God. 
<laughs> yeah, we also got this uh, Kovalev guy who's not signed, interestingly. When the hell did I get this guy? I don't even know. Did I draft? I must have drafted him. Okay, I didn't know he was already 21. Well, I could sign him, throw him back down into the AH AHL. He could probably start. He's listed to be minor backup. Goglev sticking as the other goalie doesn't matter. He could. They grow when they're scratched when they're listed as other goalie. Yeah. Um. This might. This will hurt our AHL team. But ooh, it could be decent. I mean, he is listed as a backup, so he might not even be performing too well. Um, I don't know if that's his AHL or NHL. Hold on, NHL. Uh, what? Why is it not? Sh I moved him d down. Oh, did I not put him in? I had to have put him in. Yeah, I did. No, I know I put him in. So why is it not showing his AHL stats for this year? Weird. Interesting. Um, not too sure, but I know. All right. Well, let's let's say if we throw him in the deal instead of that, it should be what? How do we have more skaters? Wait, 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 wait. How is this possible? We had what's his name in there before, and now we're throwing. Oh, skaters. Dup. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my gosh. Slow. I'm slow. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Let's see. Bickle, Vorbet. No, that's not in the organization. They're not signed. I could do the Cedarholm thing now. Since Cedar Holm is 24, that, yeah, and that's a little extra value. So let's throw in the Cedar Holm thing. What? Oh, now it's league uh, salary cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now we could try to make him retain a bit of that salary. I'll rank him. I need, I need him to do like two mil though. Yeah. Ottawa will be under the... <laughs> Ah, see what I mean, man? This is why I needed to trade away the freaking... This might be just too hard. I might have to go to Oshi just because this is ridiculously hard to make go through. Yeah, now they're... Un oh, my gosh. And I'd have to add in a shit ton more value plus cap. They don't want Erickson. Yeah, I don't know, guys. <laughs> this is looking harder and harder to do. So, it might be that we just have to go with Oshi and hope he retires and or suffer him an extra year we could ship him off in some deal and it shouldn't shouldn't the people shouldn't be oh his contract because he's not going to be paid a whole lot hmm. and he might be good enough to use as a third liner so you know what I'm, I'm gonna i think i'd have to do that this is way too difficult with ottawa and it's just seeming it's not the risks and the values more and more not worth the rewards as i look at it so i think best option would be to go for oshi all right so let's throw him in there. Retain, make him retain half that salary. I I need I actually need him to retain half that salary because when he starts declining, I want if I want to move him, I want to be able to move him. All right, their salary's over, but it might not be over over like really over. All right, no, obviously I can't move back. What's his name? Let's see if we can move some goalies in this one. Well, I want this Scrivens guy. He's a freaking HL. So that's easy. I give away that. Yeah, that guy's nothing put him in there i know he's not yeah i know he doesn't count as a anything but it's value so now we need to throw in a skater that's in our system all right let's see anyone matching block actually okay no okay they want cedar home which we can definitely do and that should count as a skater boom it's league approved now now we just need a slight more a bit of value all right so cedar home this scrivens guy don't need either of them and maybe pick I'm looking at pick because, yeah, it's looking like the best option here. Ooh, they don't want any picks. They want firsts. Well, how about a third? Not quite enough, but I'll try it since the blocks match up so well. I'll try to give up our third for this. Not quite. Didn't match the block needs too well. What the hell are you talking about? All right, let's throw in Arizona's third. And keep moving up slowly. Doesn't match your block needs. It's like one thing in there that doesn't match their block and they're being a little dicks about it. All right, well, I wouldn't mind giving it... Actually, I'll hold on to the second for this year. Give it from next year. All right, now this should work. Uh, they don't want to keep an amount of salary. God damn it. All right, I'll slowly, slowly reduce it, but I don't want to reduce it too much. I want to keep at least one mil for us. So we'll reduce it like that. Everything else, I'm going to start adding in more value. 
All right, still not willing to accept. Well, you're going to freaking accept it because that's what's going to happen. Deal with it. Let's throw in a fourth now. I'll, I'll throw in some garbage picks to make this go through. There we go. All right, I might have been able to get away with a fifth there. I should have probably worked up, but that's all right. Um, it's still a fourth. So we got TJ Oshi, and we didn't have to trade too much. Sure, we threw in a second and like a fourth, but at the same time, we do have an extra first, and we have TJ Oshi now, who we might actually be able to use for two years, or he'll be a slight bit of value to be able to trade at the draft, throw in next year. What the hell is this? OHL defense. Oh, yeah. So now, okay, we got to throw someone in here. And they're going to replace the guy everywhere, but I'll have to change that. So let me fix those lines real quick. All right, so I actually just threw Subban into everywhere because, yeah, I forgot we still had him. He was just sitting scratched, but he should help out that top pairing quite a bit. And hopefully Lilligren playing directly in his role will still grow a bit more, be ready for NHL. I want to at least get him to like a top four, but it might be hard to do at this point. So whatever, not giving up on him quite yet, but it's looking more and more like he's not really getting anywhere. Anyway, so, yeah, we got Subban in everywhere. The goalie, we didn't have to actually have to move anyone. I'm going to hold. I know someone was saying to put in the other guy. I might do that because they're both listed to be other. I, at the same time, I, you know what? It won't matter too much here. He got enough time to actually scratch. Let's get him some playing time. All right, so, yeah, put him as a backup. He won't. It won't make him suffer too much, I don't think. Maybe it'll increase his value slightly. We'll see. Anyway, he'll back up Vava Line now since pretty much to the end of the season. So... All right, uh, everything else, that's good. Oh, yeah, now we actually need to put him in there. <laughs> and we could keep Elvinus and what's-his-name scratched here because it lists his depth, and I don't want to mess up uh, HL. So, yes, substitute. And now we will throw in Oshi places that he needs to go. Um, Stetcher, decent, decent with the offensive stats, but not that great, so I could afford to move him. I want to keep Shishko on the wing. We can move Oshi to the point because I, I kind of like having the two-way forwards on the point because they, at least once you pass well. Uh, it works with, uh, it worked with Lind in our, what's in our, uh, what am I trying to say? In our Montreal one. He worked pretty well there. So let's put in Oshi here to kind of help quarterback things with Little and we got Shishko and Besser to fire the puck in the net, hopefully. And Yule Levy as well. And Hutton, Hamilton, yep. Berchi, Horvat, and Broussard. I'm liking that. Yeah, I'm still liking that. All right. Hmm. Do they need more gold? Ah, I might. I'm kind of thinking, do they need more goal scores? Nah, not really. You know what? Actually, man, our power play was struggling. Let's see what Shushko can do in a slightly higher role. And we're trying to... Because Berchi is, as at some points, has been more of a passer. This year he scored goals, but let's see if they can help carry Shishko a bit more. I want to give him a slightly more chance here. And our power play need to be swapped up anyway. Let's put Little and Broussard back together with Besser. They always seem to do well in the past with Oshi as well. And that might help, help maybe, slightly improve our power play. And our penalty kill wasn't doing too well either, so I might want to switch up that a bit. I like Gaunt. Or, sorry, I like him. I like Gaunt there, too. I, I try to like our freaking penalty kill. To be honest, it's pretty damn good. So, I think it's just got to solve itself pretty much. I mean, we could throw Oshi in there somewhere, to be honest. Uh, maybe instead of Gaunt's. Okay. Yeah, we got Oshi. Let's utilize him. He's a, he's, should be a, he's a pretty decent penalty killer. Shot blocking, stick checking, meh. But I, I think the average throughout itself is better than Gaunt's. So, yeah, we'll throw him in on the second unit with Granlund. And they should do well together. We hope. All right, and hold on. Okay, yeah, we do. Okay, three man. Yeah, okay, we're good. All right, and that should pretty much take care of it. I'm still thinking if I want to go for the trade for the third liner, and I'm, uh, I've been trying to mull it over in my head, seeing if that is something I want to do. It could help, and with Oshi, we're he could be a third liner next year. I can't remember where Benino was though. <laughs> I honestly can't remember where the hell he was. And you know what? I think I might just roll with these. I don't want to change up too much. You know what I mean? We've been playing pretty well. They, you know, acquiring a guy like that. You know, they got good chemistry everywhere. God's actually Grandland. He's not. Oh, yeah, he is. He's playing with someone he has decent chemistry with. And, uh, 
yeah, we I'll, I'll hang out. I'll stick with Kreider because I didn't think he took a whole. He didn't even take that many penalties for being a friggin' enforcer. So I'm not too sure. <laughs> so maybe he he's okay in that regard. All right, we'll we'll hold on to Kreider a bit. I know he's not the best defensively, but we'll see. All right, now I think this is good. Yep, I think we're all good. AHL, yeah, they're still all good. All right. We can continue simming now. We'll probably get into the uh, the playoff. Obviously, get into the playoffs. Sim to the end of the season here. See what happens. Uh, we shouldn't drop out of the playoffs by any means. I just hope I hope we don't do terribly. And every time we see Arizona, we want to try to beat them. Okay, that's. Do we have any more games against? Not probably not. No, no more games against Arizona. So the rest of the NHL is on their own, trying to help us out get a better draft pick. All right, guys, do do your thing. I want, I want Arizona to drop out of the uh, the playoffs. That would be amazing if they dropped out because that gives us a way, way better pick because we do have their first. I don't know if we have their third. I think we still have their third too. So any of those things will help. All right. And since making that trade, looks like we're doing pretty well. And again, another reason I like Oshi, he helps out the defense of that line. Elvinus, Kadobin weren't great defensively. They had their decent offensively, which is why I was trying them out, but... I think Oshi should help us out in a lot of ways that maybe Bobby Ryan wouldn't have. So I'm actually kind of satisfied. Bobby Ryan just turned out to be way too much of a headache trying to make that go through and trying to ship off Erickson at the same time. This is never going to happen. No team in, in the right minds is going to accept that. And I understand that. <laughs> like I was trying to get lucky and see it and maybe like do the thing where it's like they were in Arizona taking off on someone they knew wasn't going to play for him, but to keep him over the league minimum. So that's the realism I was going for in that regard. Kind of like a, a D Arizona Dotsuk thing. So, uh, yeah, alrighty, um, it's all there, all there, we've done, no, we haven't done here, okay, that'd be five, 15, alright, there we go, and we've been doing pretty well, a couple losses in a row now, let's bounce back against Florida, there we are, yeah, this is, uh, we're doing very solid, we're, st I'd say we even might be performing better since we got Oshi. so that's always a good thing, we're gaining locker room chemistry, I think him and Little are really gonna click, they're around the same age, you know, they, I think they'll really help, help out that second line okay a few losses in a row there one was in overtime so that's decent beat new york get back on the good side of things all right there you go nice five to one victory we did get 20 regulation losses but you know we weren't in a i wasn't expect Ooh, yeah a bit of a bit of some losing stuff here at the end of the season oh man come on guys and kadobin lost me out because of ice time are you not listed as depth anymore dude Oh, man, a bunch of losses to end the season. Yeah, we didn't get the 50 wins either, but whatever. We're a playoff team, so that's what I'm mostly worried about. Let's sim up, see our first-round opponent's going to be. Oh, it's going to be Dallas. All right. Ooh, Jamie Benn, Sagan. Uh -oh. All right. Um, yeah, at least we got the home ice advantage, though, so that's nice. And our team's pretty good. All righty, so... Uh, yeah, let's look at all the stats. I like where Berchi's point totals were. He really exploded there. Alrighty, um, goals four per game, 3.12 goals against, 2.66. So it's been improving. Uh, it's, it's just still not where I want it. I like to let you guys know. 2.4 or lower. That's the ideal for me. That's when I know everything's clicking where it should be. Alright, power play slightly maybe got better. <laughs> A bit, 18.1, but it's been bad all year. Penalty kill, 80%. Yeah, our special teams were not that strong this year. Home, we were not that strong either. So 23, 16, and 2 home. 26, 8, and 7 away. Last 10, 3, 6, and 1. So not the strongest way to end the season. But we did get first in our division by quite a big margin. So that's nice. We're, we probably weren't close at all to the... Uh... Yay, look at that. Oh, sweet. Arizona dropped. Oh, man, this couldn't be better. Arizona dropped out of a playoff spot, so we get a much better draft pick from them. Potentially even lottery. Probably not that much, but hey, you never know. We could get very lucky, which would be awesome. Where are we out in the Western Conference? Yeah, we're second in the Western Conference. Not bad by any means in the entire league. Uh, Fourth. So, yeah, not bad at all. We're doing pretty damn good. What? Okay, I had a brain fart. What division we were in for a second? I'm like, I knew it was Vancouver. I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know why I wanted to go to the Central. Clearly, British Columbia is not in the middle of Canada. Alrighty. So, Berchi, a 30 goal scorer, 46 assist man for 77 points. Leading point scorer. I like it. Horvat, 
Uh, 26, 41, and 67. All right. Oshi, his plus minus got a lot better. His, uh, yeah, he was like a minus 18 or something, so he went up by uh, 9. So that's good news. Uh, there's Hutton, 56 points. Let me just do forwards. Little. All right, there we go. And Shishko on the third line got 50 points. And I'm wondering why the hell he's back down to an 83. <laughs> Not too sure. Whatever. Don't you dare stunt out here, man. I need you to kind of be a second liner for me. You're producing like crazy, so I'll probably keep you anyway, even though your defense is trash. I, that's why I want him to get to a second line. Like, his defense is bad. I, just, I, I want him to get second line. Anyway, um, there's Sutter, 38 points, third line. Granlin, Delorier, uh, Elvinus, Kadobin. Yeah, they both got their depth. Now, why was Kadobin losing? That doesn't, it doesn't make any sense why he started losing around because of ice time. He's fucking listed to be depth. There's no way he didn't get depth time, man. You got 33 games. Elvinus, he, he was losing around because, oh, you guys are dicks. Whatever. Deal with it. All right. Um, and there's Kreider. <laughs> 53 Pims. I'm hoping that's mostly fights, because in that case, it doesn't mean he doesn't. It means he doesn't take too many minor penalties, which is amazing for us. There's Hutton, 56 points. Hamilton, 51. I'm happy with both those point totals for those two guys. Uh, you will levy 37. Stetcher, uh, Good Branson, Trampkin. Great plus minuses. Uh, Good Branson, you will levy is the weak spot. I do think we will have to replace Good Branson eventually. He's okay defensively, but imagine we had an 87 there as a defensive defenseman. It would be better, and it'd help lock things down a hell of a lot more. And then we can start turning into having amazing plus minus years like we did there in a uh, Montreal. Like we had one year, I'm pretty sure that every that the the first six slots were all of our defense, or maybe at least the first four. Like I remember all of our defensemen were in the top four for, or the top ten for plus minus, and I think the first four were our first two uh, defensive pairings. Which that's what I love to see. Uh, I love defense. Defense is awesome. Okay, so Demko slowly started getting slightly better. Still not an amazing season for him, but it's a lot better than when he was sitting at like a 2.8 goals against average and a .90 something save percentage. So definitely improved. This is more of an average year now. And uh, Pumanov's decent as the backup. Got 8 points in 4 games. Veva Linen helped us out by getting the 17 in 17 games. So both of our backups did well. Pumanov stepped in and did better. And uh, maybe he grows up to like an 84. I'd be completely happy with him. But an 83 is not bad either. Seems like he performs well. He's got a good reflexes category besides that breakaway is a bit weak. But everything on uh, his stick side is not great either. He's a bit of a Jonathan Quick in that regard. But he's not like boosted up by anything crazy overall wise by his athletic or his puck control category so much. His recover is really good. Rebound control could be better. But I like that recover stat. That's a good one. 92. All right. Um, vision could be better as well. But overall, he's a decent backup for us, and he performed like a decent backup. You know, I don't really care. His personal stats, they, yeah, they technically could be better, but he got me the points. That's what I care about for my backup, getting the points. All right. So I think that's pretty much it for all that. Yeah, we can go uh, check out the rest. Actually, let me check out AHL as well. Let's do that, because I don't want to forget that. Rodan, good job. London, really good for him. I'm hoping he gets a huge-ass boost. I want to get him to in his 80s before he's 22. That's what I need from Reds, man. They got to be in their 80s NHL ready before that point. Boucher, McLeod, Kemp. Oh, yeah, he's uh, he's listed to be deaf now, too. So I'm going to leave I'm not, I'm not gonna leave him in here, but he should by next. He should next year be at least a third liner. He sh that's what he should be listed as next year. He shouldn't, he better not stunt, basically. Um, Lind, yeah, I don't think he's going to grow too much, which sucks. But what can you do, man? What can you do? Here's Cullimore, he grew slightly by the looks of it, from a 74 to a 75. Maybe it's just um, basically morale, but all right, Odison. Okay. Now, where was that? Withers oh, yeah, Weatherspoon, he did okay. Didn't really grow too much, though. And yeah, McLeod started to do slightly better, but I still don't think he's going to turn out to be anything. 72 at 22, that's just really bad, sadly. All right, Lilligren still has to be a minor freaking top four, whatever. All righty. Um, oh, God. <laughs> so many goalies that we used. Um, <laughs> yeah, Vavalainen killed it for the short amount of time he played. Kogolev came in, didn't do too great, unfortunately, but he did get slightly better. So, hey, All right, he, got, he got some games under his belt there. So there you have it. Alrighty, and I think that's pretty much it. Yep, all the HL taken care of. Now we could check out 
all the teams here and see who's the best of the best in the league. My goodness. Looks like Stamkos leading point score almost with 60 goals, man. Wow. 105 points. Tavares also had 50 goals, 96 points. Kucherov at 96 points. It looks like he should lead in assist as well. Giroux, our, our guy's way down here. Not even close to the top 10, so... GG. Ooh, Palat led in assists with 70. Who's our closest guy we have? I don't even think even close to here. Yeah, not really. <laughs> Bobby Ryan got a lot, so... Yeah, would have been nice to trade for him, but we didn't, so... There you have it. Oh, my goodness. Lightning are a good team, man. Woo! That first line, though. Scary. Pretty scary. Okay. Defenseman. Oh, I didn't check out some of the other stuff I usually check. Oh, well. Well, I'm kind of running short on time here. It looks like Carlson, eh, If it's between him and Fowler and Riley, those are the top three. Mm, I would personally give it to Fowler or Riley because, yeah, sure, he might be on a shitty team with, eh, with the plus minus, but let's see what else. Riley's got the best shooting percentage. Hitting-wise, he doesn't hit as much as Fowler or Riley. Takeaways. He had the actually had the best giveaway and takeaway ratio, though. So that's a close race between those three, but they probably will give it to Carlson. I mean, they usually prioritize points in this game anyway. I'm just thinking from, like, an, an NHL per perspective, who you would give it to out of these three guys. Like, it's, it's close, but, like, yeah, you got you also got to consider you can't just look at the plus minus. You got to consider Ottawa Senators are rebuilding, and uh, Ducks are not. Toronto obviously are not. So, yeah. All right, pretty cool. All right, goaltender wise, let's see who's looking like the Vesna. Yeah, man. There we are. Uh, games played. Sorry by that. I see Vasilevsky's stats are up there. Yeah, Vasilevsky, very good stats there. Yeah, the lightning. Oh my god, I'm scared of the lightning. <laughs> the lightning looks scary, guys. Hopefully we don't have to face them. At least we don't have to face them in the first round. All right, what the fuck? They're in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, we won't. We won't have to face them until Stanley Cup. I'm getting mixed up between ourselves and Montreal. <laughs> we faced them so much in our Montreal one that I just, I got so used to it. Yeah, uh, Vasilevsky, no question. He's a Vesna winner. I mean, I don't see anyone even close. So. There you go, rookie skaters. Let's see who's looking like they're winning that Calder. Shishko, Shishko. <gasps> no, fuckers, Yamamoto. Who the hell are you? Get out of here. Valeno, get out of here. You're not as good as you are from uh, in Montreal. You sons of bitches. Come on, man. Shishko played. I bet you these guys played higher than third line, too. I'm, I'm willing to bet they played higher than third. Eh, they might have. I don't know. But, yeah, look at Shishko, man. He, he killed it in his rookie year. God damn, poor guy. He got more power play goals than him. And he got, holy shit, look at those game winners. Shishko, I like him. Look like we got a little clutch guy in our hands. He took some face-offs for some reason. Um, Yeah, I'd say he's not going to win the Calder, unfortunately, but he had a hell of a good year as a rookie. Can't take anything away from him. Any rookie goaltenders look like they're going to steal the show here and win that Calder for themselves. Vemelka, pretty well. Oh. Yeah, Vemelka, that's actually... Decent stats for a first year. Yeah, and with how many games played, that is. Why the hell are you a starting goaltender, though? Like, why do you have that many? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. Whatever. Well, I, I still think they'll probably give it. To, I don't know, man. Those That wins and stuff, that might make them actually potentially better than those 50-point score guys. We'll have to see. We'll have to see who that prioritizes. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, that takes care of everything. Playoffs will be coming up next, but I'm happy with our team right now. I know we lost some games there at the end of the season, so that's not the greatest thing to go into the playoffs with. But I think with the guys that we have, our lines, we should be relatively stocked with for a playoff run. We got some older guys now, and our younger guys have been gaining experience. And I mean, we can't call all of them super young. Like Berchi's smack dab in his prime now. Horvat's entering his prime. Besser's about to enter his prime now. Shishko, yeah, he's still pretty young. We got, we still got some young guys, and we will always have young guys filtering through. You know, Sutter's not going to be here for too much longer or forever. Little might be able to hang on and do some third line time if he declines a bit more, or we could trade him at the draft. But I don't think Kemp would be completely ready for second line. In which case, we might want to have him spot fill the second line and. Yeah, we might, we're running into, a, we're going to have a transition here and, and might be a true step back. Like I thought this year was going to be a step back 
and we could maybe hopefully solve some stuff but next year might actually be the true 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 step back year as it's looking right now so hopefully shishko gets a fat jump i kind of need him to get a good jump and it, this was his contract year sometimes that helps it being their contract year and stuff so we'll see we'll see anyway playoffs are up in the next video you guys let me know about that trade give me your predictions for the first round remember to leave that like and as always i'll see you guys in the next one